So Quibi is an app that, if you haven't heard of it, does 10-minute segments. And the part of the reason I'm bringing it up is, one, it's been in the news because it got a lot of uh, hoopla, a lot of early on investment, and they're already trying to sell it. It's been a thing for like six months. It won like an Emmy for one of its things, um, but it just no one is uh, using it. And we were actually going to do an episode on a Quibi movie, which I did watch, actually, so I'll talk a little <laughs> bit about it. But uh, we ended up not doing it just because JL was not able to download Quibi in Korea. I guess it's not available there. Yeah, but you just can't download it like at all. It's not available on the App Store. So I'm assuming I'm the only one who's, who's used Quibi here. I'm guessing you haven't done it, Adam. Uh, no, I went to the <laughs> site for the first time. I've seen the ads. I've seen the ads. Mm -hmm. um, but I went on the site for the first time and uh so i and on that page it shows like what shows are available mm -hmm. and some uh examples of their marquee shows include barkitecture about making houses good for your dog and about face and agua donkeys maybe some of these are good but like <clears throat> it looked like their big uh the movie that was like most prominent on their page that wasn't made just for quibi i think is die Heart. Yeah, um, which I don't interest in. But so my point <laughs> is, is that I'm not even on the free trial train with this selection at this point. Um, so I mean, I, I remember reading the article and it said that uh, uh, apparently uh, people they have low rates of people trying the free trial and lower rates of people on the free trial like sticking around sticking around so yeah. so as someone on a free trial right now uh, and i did watch an entire quibi movie mm -hmm. which was uh mm -hmm. when the street light street lights go on mm -hmm. which you know what i was expecting to just totally hate it but i didn't it was uh it wasn't like enormously original um it was like a Daria meets a murder mystery would be the best way I could describe it. But it was charming. It was a charming kind of like 90s throwback movie. Um, and the You had to watch thing... it on your phone, right? Yes. In 10-minute segments? In 10-minute segments. Did that so that's what I want to get at. the experience? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was not at all how I wanted to watch it. <laughs> so that, that's what I wanted to get at. I think I they miscalculated. <laughs> so Quibi is going for like the YouTube audience. They kind of have the same oh. idea in their head, or like the, or the TikTok audience, like people who are watching like short videos. Um, mm -hmm. The thing that they fundamentally miscalculated, I think, is uh, the 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 way that they imagine people use those services is that they are like if they have a couple minutes to spare, like they're waiting in line. That's a little with the ad show, like people waiting in line and being like, oh, let's do a short, you know, YouTube video. But I watch YouTube all the time. I never do that. Like if I'm online, YouTube is not what I'm doing. I am, uh, you know, like scrolling Facebook or like Reddit or something, which I think is what everybody does. Mm -hmm. If I'm watching YouTube, I'm at home watching YouTube. <laughs> like it's, it's a very different... I mean, I just, and then uh, Quibi is even worse because the the short videos you're watching are not self-contained. So it's not like, I just, I can't imagine watching this movie. And like, it was like a movie, just like broken up. And they tried their darndest to make them like episode-ish. And there is some ones that work better than others, some 10-minute segments that ended on a cliffhanger and it's like okay it was kind of like an episode but some of them just end really abruptly and you're just like well i guess i gotta watch an ad before i can see the next episode that's fun you know it's 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 just uh well, it's like watching a movie on tv with the commercial breaks you know what it's like that some it's of those have watch very it on a abrupt phone. Uh... yeah <laughs> the one cool thing about quibi which is um kind of a, a i don't know how useful this technology is i think it's kind of but it's, it's novel, it's like kind of fun, is that when you turn it from um, from vertical to horizontal, like, you know, a YouTube video, if you watch it vertically, it just minimizes the widescreen. 
so that it doesn't look very good. Yeah. Um, but Quibi, I guess everything they film, they film in both aspect ratios. Interesting. So mm-hmm. it is, it's cool in that you can watch it however you want. Um, it's a little less cool because it makes it so that scenes can't be too busy because they always have to be like structured in a way that it would look good in both angles, which means in widescreen, you have a lot of empty space (laughs) and in like full in the, the longer view, you always just have like, you know, the head is at the top of the screen and you have like a body shot of people talking, but it is very seamless. So props to that. You know, that's cool, I guess. Uh, oh, honestly, nice. <laughs> maybe Quibi would be okay if it was free, but the fact that they're making people pay for this is just uh, outrageous. I mean, it's there's no way I'm sticking with it. Even as someone who liked the content, you know, I, just, I want you to, to get rid of the 10-minute thing, just put them up as a movie, and then, then maybe we'll talk. Maybe. Yeah, like how does this at all like compete with something like Netflix? Because you can also watch Netflix on your phone, right? But yeah. Netflix has a much more extensive library that has like newer stuff that people are interested in, plus older material that people already like. And you don't have ads. You can just watch the whole thing. Yeah, I... if, you, if you don't have a show, if you don't have like the show to come to your service to watch then your I don't think your service has a chance. It's like people if you go to Netflix, there are things you can see that people want to see, like your Stranger Things or even more recent shows, like Umbrella Academy, who's popular recently, right? Um, so, and I can think of that for like all of the major streaming services, and I don't know any of Queepy's shows. So, uh, if there isn't, if I'm not. If there isn't something that I'm looking forward to on it, then I'm never going to try her thing. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, they did they did get some Emmy Emmy nods, and they actually won one. Um, but I can't remember the name of the one that won the Emmy, which is not a good sign for. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, like whoever whoever thought of that idea in the first place, just uh, it was it was a bad idea. It's just it wasn't it wasn't done well. YouTube is cool because you can do the little short videos, but there's also like hour long stuff on YouTube. There's lots of variety there. Mm-hmm. By like locking in, like we only do ten minute content. That's it. We don't offer anything. No like thirty second little goofy things. No, you know, if you want to watch us a full movie, that's not an option. No, you're you're locked in to this quibby amount. Of, they try to make it like a noun. It's a quibby. It's a, it's a unit of time. Like, okay. Like, <laughs> you're just limiting yourself and you're making all your content worse. Like, it's it's an unnecessary restriction and it didn't, there was no reason for it. Not, not a real reason. Mm. So, sad thing. It looks like maybe, maybe it'll get bought by somebody or maybe it'll just go under. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> 